In this video, we're going to be going over how to add and remove card holders from your system. To do so, we're going to have to go to the card holders page. Now there's two ways to do that. We can either select the card holders button here, or we can go to administration and then select card holders. So now that we're in the card holders page, if we want to add a new user, we can go down to the bottom and select add. Now, I'm going to name my user test user. Um, it is last name and then first name. We also have to select a badge type, which you can do by selecting this drop down menu here. Or if you already know your, the name of your badge type, you can just start typing it and scroll down on your mouse wheel and it will auto populate for you. So now that we've got that filled out, we can go up to the top here and select badge. you'll see that there's a field called badge ID. That is the number of the badge, which you'll find printed on the back of the badge. For this example, I'm just going to use one, two, three, four, five as my badge number. You'll also see that there's an activate and deactivate date for the badge. Activate is when the badge will become active. Deactivate is when the badge will automatically deactivate. So now that we've got that filled out, we can go to the Access Levels tab here. On this page, you can assign access levels, which are permissions, to the users. If you're not sure which access level you want to assign, you can always right-click and then select Level Definition. As you can see, this access level has access to the front door, the back door, and the IT room door. For this example, I'm going to grant my user the IT admin access. So I'm just going to go ahead and left click on the door. You'll see the red check mark appear. That means that they have access to that access level. You can select multiple. Once you have the access levels that you want, you can go ahead and hit OK. And this user is now in the system. If you need to make modifications to your user, you can use the modify button here. Say I want to change my user's name change them to test user one. We can do that. We can also, if we go to the access levels tab, we can change which access levels they have using the modify button. Or you can change which badges they have by using the modify button. Alternatively, on the badge tab only, if you hit modify, you can also set the badges to lost. If the badge was lost, this will make it so that the badge has no access. You also can turn badges back on by going to modify and then active. And now the badge has access again. If you need to quickly find a user, you can go to the card holder tab and hit search down at the bottom. Just type the user's name and they will appear here. You also can use that search feature in badges as well. So say I want to search for one, two, three, four, six. That will also bring me back to my test user. If no badges appear when you search, it will just bring you to a blank page. Alternatively, you don't need to hit the search button when you're on the badge page. If you just start typing a number, it will automatically search it for you. If we need to delete a badge, we can just check the badge here, hit delete, and then hit OK. Are you sure? And then it will ask you, are you sure you want to delete this badge? You can just go ahead and hit yes, and the badge is no longer there. If we want to delete the whole user out of the system, we can go to card holder, make sure that the user is selected here, hit delete, and then OK, and then hit yes on the warning. 